What's up, everybody? How you doing, guys? We back to give you another episode of the Disability News Report. I'm Garrison Red. And I'm Garfield Williams. And we here to report to you the latest news in the disabled community. Also, we got a dope interview later on with Mr. Scoop Ross. Yup, so stay tuned for that. And we're going to get things started right now. Right now, we're going to start off and continue on with the situation, you know, the scandal, you know. Abuse of extended time on SAT and ACT outrages learning disability community. For Noah Cotes, the SAT and ACT were grueling uh, multi-day marathons. The Baltimore County student took each exam in a private room with twice the normal time. Because he has dyslexia and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, as he recalled, he couldn't. I mean, he still couldn't finish, but he secured secured his goals. Scores that um, got him into Stevenson University in Maryland, where the 20 year old plans to graduate in May with a bachelor's degree in computer system de um, development. After revelation um, revelations in um, this month about cheating and bribery in college admissions. Coach fear a uh, blowback that could curtail accommodations for students with special needs on high exam on state exams. I was disappointed to see that someone was trying to exploit something that was made to help other people who needed. Coach said he likened the alleged, the alleged testing cheats to drive who will claim disability parking spots without permits. It's frustrating and annoying. Just because it's open doesn't mean you should take it. Yeah, that's um, right there. It's very disappointing. Um, I really am lost for it still with this situation. Yeah, I like how he even, um, how he made that comparison. With on, the parking spots. Yeah, because a lot of individuals um, do take up um, parking spots just because they're open. And typically, law enforcement do not really, I think, enforce individuals to not park in yeah. handicapped parking spots. And we witness this on a regular basis. So, yeah, and the, if people are cheating on exams, it's definitely, like, the same thing. Like, people are really taking advantage of something that need, is, is for individuals that really need it. Yes. All right, so we're going to move on to Facebook was charged with disability-related discrimination. Now, this is very, very interesting, and I'm glad that this was made, people was made aware, is going to be made aware of this, and we're making people aware of what's going on right now, due to the fact that the federal government is accused of Facebook of illegally using its advertising platform to discriminate against people with disabilities and other groups. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development charged the social media company Thursday with violating the Fair Housing Act. The agency said Facebook is encouraging, enabling, and causing housing discrimination through its method of allowing advertisers to control who see ads for homes. Facebook is discriminating against people based upon who they are and where they live, said Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Ben Carson. Using a computer to limit a person's housing choices can be just as discriminatory as slamming a door in someone's face. According to charges, Facebook allows advertisers to exclude or include users from seeing ads based on various attributes, including interest in accessibility or service animal. Furthermore, the charges alleges the Facebook system is set up in such a way that it won't show ads to groups it considers unlikely to engage with them, even if the advertiser has explicitly targeted those groups. As a result, ads for housing and housing-related services are shown to large audiences that are severely biased based on characteristics protected by the Fair Housing Act. According to the charge, the Fair Housing Act bars housing discrimination, including in online ads based on race, color, national origin, religion, sex, disability, or family status. People with disabilities are one of several groups that the Department of Housing and Urban Development is accusing Facebook of discriminating against. Last year, the housing agency filed a formal complaint against Facebook over Fair Housing Act concerns and began a fact-finding investigation. 
Facebook subsequently said it would remove more than 5,000 categories from targeting options offered to advertisers and said it will require all advertisers to certify that they comply with the company's non-discrimination policy. Yeah, so this is very um, alarming that I do see these ads pop up all the time. Well, various ads, not necessarily housing ads. And now that I thinking about it, I find it a bit peculiar that I don't have housing ads on my particular Facebook when individuals with disabilities obviously need homes just like any other individual. So why aren't they being shown the same type of ads to for housing as any other individual? Yeah, they need shelter too. Yeah, so that's a bit alarming. And Facebook, if you want, y'all can reach out to us. And we can probably work on something together where we can, you know, give you a little bit more exposure within a disabled community to pretty much correct the wrongdoings that occurred previously. Yes. Um, on to the next story. Uh, story by a young individual. Um, I spent years battling the government for disability benefits I'm entitled to from the UK. My name is Charlotte Smith. I study animal um, care at college. Work in my local co-op store and volunteer for an animal charity. I'll, I'm also profoundly deaf and I spent the past three years fighting the government for benefits I needed um, to live on. I have received disability living allowance for as long as I can remember. My mom and I relied on it day for um, for day to day expenses and of course that come with being deaf. I also can have Coliac, um, coliac disease and a strict gluten-free diet is expensive. When I was about to turn 18, the Department of Work and Pensions told me that my, my disability living allowance was ending and I had to apply for personal independence payment. It was really upsetting at the time. I had been on disability living allowance for years and my hair was never going to change. It felt like I was being told I wasn't deaf anymore by someone I never even met. I picked myself up with the thought that it would be a simple process. In reality, it was the start of a nightmare that took me and my family to hell and back. I applied for a personal independence payment in May 2015. Being assessed for it is not a fun experience. I remember walking into a room and a lady didn't even look up when she first spoke to me. This is um like di discrimination at an all time high. Um, I mean, a person who has um, hearing impaired is just the same as anybody who suffers with any type of disability. And if this is something that his life depends on, um, I don't see why not that he gets the opportunity to you know live like anybody else who who, who needs this type of assistance. Isn't that funny? Don't that sound like um? Social Security and how Social Security tells individuals who work and make over a certain amount that they aren't considered to be disabled, even though they have a visible disability, disability. in a lot of cases. And that's just another thing that, you know, is unfortunate. And the world is happening around the world with a lot of government agencies, as you can see, and something has to be done. Yeah. Something definitely has to be done because typically when you have a disability, you do have a strict diet that's different from an able-bodied individual. And no one takes that into consideration that the expenses is much higher and the small payments that individuals are receiving is well needed. And I think those social payments are needed in the disabled community more or less than any other community that's out there because individuals are trying to be independent to the best of their you know capabilities yes so to move on the 12th annual disability resource expo took place um and and they are reaching out for answers this took place in illinois to be exact it was at the vineyard church which is 1500 north lincoln avenue it did take place today, which is Saturday, March 30th. It was from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The event provides access to information and resources for people with disabilities. 
The expo will host 107 exhibitors, including 16 new ones, who will share information and answer questions regarding resources ranging from healthcare to legal support, available to people with all types of disabilities, as well as caregivers, friends, and families. The Disability Resource Expo co-coordinator, Barb Bresner, said the event highlights the abilities of all people. The world, the word disability kind of, kind of says that you can't do something, which I've been saying. What we do is we really focus on and highlight what people can do, Bresner said. In addition to information booths, the event will have activities for children and entertainment throughout the day, including performances by people with disabilities. There will also be a music therapist sessions and a service dog demonstration. Bresta said the event is also a great educational opportunity for people who don't have disabilities. Our hope is that one day that there will not be a stigma that is connected to a person with disability or to a various or to various disabilities, Bresner said. Yeah, so like that's what the Garrison Rare Project is is about breaking yeah. that stigma. We're fighting for the same thing, and I love that. Yeah. So over these, I know we've been a little slow with the v- delivering our messages um, due to the fact that we actually been in a business development class um, for the last few for the last previous two weeks, yeah. and we, we had to take the class that way we can be more effective. With connecting with the disability community, but nonetheless, we are going to connect with more and more employers. That way, we could give them exposure, and which, with them having more exposure, it will highlight the capabilities of individuals with disabilities because we're going to have start having more events now that the summer is coming. Yes. And it's going to be a total, total transformation for us. And we trying to revolutionize the disability community and just spark that fire. Yes, there's a lot of talent out there and it need to be showcased on all levels. Exactly. So we're we're working day and night. So if we're a little slow, don't worry. We're working yeah. for you guys. Exactly. And greatness takes time. Yes. So um do you want to give them a little bit of a introduction to the um Well Scoop Rose, he's from Jersey. Um he was in an injury when he got hit by an oncoming car while he was on his motorcycle and actually was going to his son's basketball game. Um, he's basically going to I mean, go over and explain I mean, his process and him going through rehabilitation and, and you know what keeps him up on a day-to-day basis. Just stay tuned and that's going to show next and, and showcase what he's about and, and it's a real touching story. You know? Okay, how you doing, school? I'm good, man. How y'all doing? Everything is good. All right. Everything's good. Just got a, just today is a relaxed day for me. That's all. Today a relaxed day for you. Yeah, man. Monday through Friday, man. I work hard all all week. The all weekend, week. I just want to lay in bed, relax. I understand. I understand. You feel good, man. What's up, dude? How are you, man? Nothing much. Nothing much. Still striving towards success. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You from New Jersey, right? Yeah, yeah man. Me too, man. You from New Jersey, I right? Got a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. We not we not far. We neighbors. New York and New Jersey. Yeah, we neighbors. We close right by, right, right down the hill. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, tell me a little about your situation. Uh, well, you know, it's gonna go out to everybody across the world. Just tell me a little about your situation and what happened. I was leaving my um stepson, my stepson's basketball game, just cruising, and a guy just out of nowhere just decides he can beat me to the turn, wow. and just right in front of me, and just hit me right off. He just hit me. And remind you, I just completely passed out. Like, like I didn't see, I didn't know anything. My fiance, she was like two cars behind, three cars behind. It was my fiance, my my daughter, and my stepdaughter, and they seen the whole, whole thing. Wow. My wow. daughter, she was, she was my daughter. She was only six at the time. She was just so comatose, like she didn't. Mean, she wasn't talking to me. She wasn't hugging me or anything. Like, I lost her for a while. 
But then I got to, I went to Kessler and I tried to, tried to work out, but I was still was, still was nervous, man. Cause I, when I woke up, came through, I was in Robertwood Hospital. Tubes all in me. I had to get, I broke ribs and uh, splings, everything. But I just was pressing on, man. I just, I had no choice but to press on. I, I, I was always doing that, talking the same. And my mind was like, uh, I, I got to give up. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I like that. I like that. You seem like a very strong person. Um, like, uh, going through, like, your rehabilitation, what are some of the challenges you faced? Oh, man, I, I faced a lot of challenges, man, because I, I had got wounds at one point because I just was, I had a, I didn't know nothing about doing, like, the, like the weight shifting and all that stuff. So I just had an old wheelchair that the rehab had gave me, the hospital had gave me. And I just was sitting inside, got a wound on my backside, and I got infected, and I went through, through challenges with that. So I went through a lot, but I still kept pressing on, you know. And when I got to my right mind, to my state of mind, I said, you know, can't give up on this life. So you got, I got kids. Yeah. So I, I just, I just pressed on, you know, it was hard, but I did it. You know what I mean? Through grace and God, my grandmother, my grandfather prayers. I just, I just found out I can do it. You know, I respect that a lot. Well, what keeps you fighting every day? Like what keeps you going? What keeps me going is my kids, man. My kids, my fiance, I'm about to get married in June, so I'm Congratulations. just Congratulations. Congratulations on that. I'm happy for you. I'm just I'm just looking to strive to get myself stronger, which I am. I'm sta I'm doing like a standing frame. My feet coming too. I'm moving my toes a little bit. So I, I feel a, a lot of obstacles going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? Then looking at my man videos and he give me the encouragement, like, I can do this. If he could do it, I could do it, you know? That's yeah, a I can't lift yes. as much as he lifting, though, but, you know what I mean? I do my, I do my one-twos, you know? I do what I can do in therapy. There's rehab to see where I'm at now. It's, it's good, you know what I mean? Yeah, anything it, is it possible. Push, it push, yeah, it push you. Yes. And I'm grateful, man. I'm really yeah. grateful. I could, I could tell that. I could tell that. Like, what, what are some of your inspirations? Well, I'm looking forward to, like, you know, my fiance, like I said, she's, I'm getting married in June, so I'm looking yeah. to stand, stand strong, at least with my brace on to show people, like, I can do this, you know? Like, at, and like, doing that at the time of needs, you know, you think you got friends, but then you really don't have friends, you know? Friends will turn it back when you, when you get down and out. But, that, and that made me even more stronger, you know? So, then my kids, they look up to me. So I mean, I got a lot. I got a lot to live for, you know. Yeah, a lot yes. to live for. It's not over. It's not over. What level you are? Yeah. Um. Uh, think of more. But I'm just, I'm just down from my waist down. Okay. So yeah, nah, you got a lot. You could do a lot. You have a lot, a lot of capabilities and abilities there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just Definitely my waist do. down. Yeah. yeah, I do. I listen. I do anything, dog. I roll, I just, I use my upper body to do a lot. And I'm it's, at one point, it was hard. At one point, I'm not going to lie, it was hard for me. Like, it was really hard for me trying to do what I needed to do. But when I finally got it, I just went on about my business. Oh, man, God, and just gave me the strength to do it. That's good. That's amazing That's good. right there. That's good. That's good. Um, anything that you got going on that you're working on, any ideas you want to share, or something that you know you want to work on to speak on, I mean, to introduce to the world, you know? Well, well, technically, I had, I had, I, I had my website going up. Um, I, had me, um, I made my own T-shirts. It was okay. called Bike Lives Matter. That was up um, on my page. That I was selling and stuff, and um, just just people just buy a shirt. It was going to a good cause to to kids. My so my son he was born with so he's in a wheelchair too. Okay. So okay. so it just was a lot lot of tasks that was going on. 
but a lot of people just buy my t-shirts and stuff. So, I mean, I had a good, I had a good, I had a good, I had a good ride, man. I really did. Okay. I really did. Okay, I was definitely yeah. seeing the t-shirts um on your Facebook. I definitely did. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was doing a lot. I mean, like I said, I'm in a rehab facility too. So I see a lot of people in here that where I'm at that that's worse than I am. You know what I'm saying? So I look at them like, wow, I'm good. I can do this. You and look man, like a sorry. Prayer, mm -hmm. prayer, guys, grace and mercy. Listen, I can do it. You look like a very family oriented guy. Um, like, what, what's a day like with the family? How's everything with the family? Well, with the family, everything's good, man. My brother, my brother, God bless his soul, he was in the same predicament I was in. He got shot like seven times. Oh, man. And he Sorry lived, for your Lord. lived to see his son born. And, but the thing about him was he gave up. You know what I mean? I told, I asked him, like, I'm not going to give up. I told my dad, I'm like, dad, I'm not going to give up. So don't worry about it. My dad was crying. Then I was going to give up. I told him, nah, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to fight this game to the end. Yeah, you're a fighter, man. Don't give up at all, man. Everybody's rooting for you. Everybody's yeah, rooting for you. Yeah, man. I appreciate you guys really for allowing me to come out, man, and speak my mind and speak my truth. Man. Yes, yes. I this is a platform it. for you. For everybody, you know, you come, you speak, and you get introduced to the world. Everybody need to see you. You have a story. You're somebody, you know. You're not silent. Yeah, somebody yeah. might be going through the same thing you're going through. And, and they need to hear you. They just need to hear you. You know, it's very yeah. inspiring and touching, and I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any some? Do you have any, like, some hidden talents people don't know about? Well, I mean, I was a, I used to play drums in my church, but now I'm trying to work on the keyboard. Okay, I like so, that. I like that. I actually um, want to learn to play the piano one day. I definitely want to yeah, learn to play that. Yeah, my cousin, he's, he's an awesome organ, so he teaches me how to play the organ and stuff. That's so, nice. Uh, I'm doing a good thing. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to working out. Uh, I shoot a little basketball here and there, try to work up on my arms. Okay. I, do a lot with my kid. I do a lot with my kids. And, you know, I just keep busy. That's good. That's I, I good. Go to I definitely make my church service. Yeah. There's some good um wheelchair basketball teams if you have an interest in it too. That's in the Jersey area as well. Yeah, I heard. I heard I've seen. I seen a couple of moves. Yeah. I, I really do want to look into more, man. I really want to join one of those teams. Yeah, yeah keep yeah. you active. Keep you active. You know, show them what you got on the court. I mean, it took me yeah. a while to join a team. I'm not really like a um. I'm more of an individual player. That's just me by choice. So I did yeah. wheelchair track. I wasn't really with the basketball because, you know, I, I I was concerned about the fall and everything. But that's just me, though. That was just my personal, you know, thing yeah. with bas when it came to basketball. However, um, I got into, like, powerlifting and stuff like that, which I excelled I, yeah. Yeah, I, man, listen, man, I applaud you every day. Thanks, man. I took it, yeah, man, because ain't no way in heck I don't understand what you live. Yeah, man, so, yeah, but there's a lot of sports teams, and then you just get to connect with other individuals as well. Yes. And, you know, there's a lot of people that's dealing with, like, depression and self-esteem issues, so, you know, yeah. you just being out there smiling and happy and, you know, just living your life, because there's so many people that just want to get married, like, that's... Yeah. 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 So by it was, it's, 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 I say it's a hard test for me, like, like yeah. the marriage thing. Like, I'm like really looking forward to it, and like it's kind of hard. But you know, I like uh, I could do it. It's and another it, challenge. It's, just, another and challenge. I, it's just something else. That's it. That's it. it. it, it it's just fun. To, like, yeah, I say she's she's looking for it more than I am. And I'm like, nah, babe, I can do it. She's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. I'm 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 good. I'm going to stand up there for you. I got a brace and everything. I'm like, okay. I'm going to stand there for you. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm working hard, working hard for in therapy, you know? Exactly. So that's exactly. Man. One day at a time. Yeah. That's it. One step. That's my model. Yeah. I'm, and you can keep that in your mind. Like, that's what I'm looking forward to. That's my end goal right there, to stand up for yeah. her. And mm -hmm. the joy that you will bring her by just, you know, standing, taking the vows and all of that. Yes. You know, that's going to create an impact in her life that she probably would obviously never forget as well as 
You will never forget that. So. And, and, and she stuck. And she stuck. We really stuck by me, man. Like I wasn't. I wasn't. We wasn't in, engaged at that point. I wasn't engaged at that point. With but we was like together. And, like she didn't leave my side at all, man. That's amazing. She stuck in with me. That's what counts. That's definitely what counts. And I like that. I like that. Um, how did you hear about uh the Garrison Red Project or find out about Garrison? And what we got um, going on? She was dragging through the page. She and she met me into him, and I didn't know him. At to my fiance, she went through his page, and she sent sent me his link, and I just you know, think and him as my friend. And every day I see him, he, he inspires me, man. So, and I told him that he really inspired me, and I said, you know what? If he can do it. I can do it. That's the goal that's out the, here. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. The, yeah, my goal is for everybody you know that it did a went through a traumatic experience and you know ended up in an adverse situation just to keep pushing. Life isn't over, and yeah, a lot of times yeah. life life rebegins all over. So yeah. if God and spared your life, He did it for a reason, and you know you got to make the most out of it. So that's how I look at things and. And I feel if I showcase some of the things I could do, it can make someone else motivated and inspired to accomplish their aspirations. So I just said, yeah, it, it was just a calling for me. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys to death, man. I really appreciate man, we you We love you too. We love you too, man. That's why we glad you, you know, did this interview with us. Yes, definitely. So now, you know, people could know and we could spread this to the world. Yes. Because with social media, you touch an individual from every area of the universe. So. I love, I would love to meet with you guys and meet you guys. Because yeah, I'm moving down south after my wedding and stuff. So yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 most yeah, definitely. And you right in Jersey. We'll come out there or whatever. However, we'll, we'll orchestrate something. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who, who are some of your role models or people you look up to? Well, I look up to my dad, my grandmother, yeah, my a, grandfather. My grandmother and my grandfather they are my pastors and my bishop. I like that. So, and my dad is my deacon. So, I mean, I look up to him. You know, I look up to those guys. You know, my uncles, you know what I'm saying? That was there in my life. So, you know, I mean, I, I look up to those. Like, I can be like them, more like them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, God always got my back. You know what I'm saying? He never lost. He never left me yet, man. So, that's through all I've been through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's beautiful. I still have... I'm good. You're breathing. Your heart is still beating. You still breathing. Yes. That's all that yeah. matters. Definitely. Definitely. Um, with a lot going on in today's world, what are some things that you you know you want to change society or you know to benefit everybody? You know, some things you you want to see done in the world. Just the violence, man. Violence got to stop, man. Yes, definitely. I just I just lost one of my little homeboys. I watched grow up, man. He's 18 years old, man. Oh, man. man. He's still a kid. Yeah. Still a kid. It's crazy. So, so, man. Gotta stop, man. Yeah, man. Kids definitely different. gotta stop. No reason. So, like, just gotta stop, man. I I, I just live, I live to see another day, man. I'm so, just so blessed. Yes. That Thank God. God is just doing, you know? Yes, definitely. Definitely. He's a He's a blesser, man. He's a healer. I know. I, I know. I got one. One of these little days, I'm gonna walk again, and I believe it to the fullest. I believe it too. I believe it too. And man. that's that's what it starts with. Your belief. You're gonna work towards it, and it's gonna happen. As long as you keep working, he'll man, he'll open that door for you. You know, that's how I look okay. at life. As long as I keep doing something positive, he'll take care of the rest. Yeah, shit. One of those old days, man. I tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shit. Uh, the doors open up for me. Yes, man. yes, yes. Um, share something with everybody, you know, that it shows that you know you're not you're not limited due to your disability. Oh, I'm not limited. I do. I do whatever I can do, man. I do it all, bro. I like to fish. Nice. I like oh, that's to nice. Go out. I like to cook, clean. Okay. I wash my own clothes. I do it all, man. I, whatever I can do, man, I can do it, man. I'm down. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We want dancing, that. Uh, dancing, 
we want, I do it all, man. We want to change the uh, the mentality of people thinking disabled is unable. You know, people with disabilities are capable of doing a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Don't sleep on us. I'm telling yeah. you that now. Don't. Don't ever, ever, ever. Don't sleep on us at all because we could change the world. I'm telling you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last but not least, um, I wanna um, I know you was talking about you you play a little hoops. Um, you going for anybody in the um, NBA right now or the NCAA tournament? Oh yeah, I'm going for my I'm going for Duke, man. I'm going for my squad. You like Zion so Williamson? I like hey, yo, I like Duke. I'm a Duke fan, man. From the rip, yo. Okay. I've been liking Duke for a long time, man. Okay, okay. I mean, they they got a strong team, man. I want to see what what they, what will come out of this whole tournament. Hopefully, you know they succeed and, and play real well. And also, um, I actually like Murray State with J- Jay Morant. That's a talented guy right there. Talented okay. guy, yeah, yeah. Coming out of uh, Murray State, sophomore year in college. Okay. So, what y'all guys doing today? Just relaxing tonight. Yeah, we That's we we've been up like well, we had to get up early today. We yeah. um. Work went to this business like workshop yes for our organization just to give us a little more direction yes. on how we should um game plan towards reaching our goals for this upcoming year yes and cool. At, cool. yeah actually we had two prior days where um we attended this workshop which was like seven seven to eight hours it was like eight or nine hours right About, yeah eight hours yeah it was eight hours like fully so it was real real um demanding yeah, out of like us. doing that in the gym you know and then you know we gotta yeah, make sure we, we give you the interview like we, we wanna make sure we fulfill everything as much yeah. as possible we'll have fun later <laughs> yeah, we'll, fun to come we know the fun to come yeah. I mean but we have fun like just right here this having is having fun. fun for us yeah. you know and just hearing your story keep me going each day and it's gonna keep Garrison going as yeah. well yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all, man. I, I definitely appreciate you, man. you for, you we know, being our guest. You know, you are, you are second guest. Well, I would say first guest because everybody know Garrison. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you know, I thank you a lot, Mr. Roger Cardon, also known as Scoot Ross. I yeah. mean, appreciate you for coming along, yeah. sharing your story. It's very touching. It's very strong. And the whole world's definitely going to see this. Yep. And you got an Instagram sure. or anything? Yeah, like, yeah, shout out your Instagram, Facebook, whatever, uh, everything. Yeah, your <laughs> website. Yeah. I'm gonna start one, man. I'm definitely gonna try to start okay. one. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let the people know your Facebook. They can check you out on Facebook. And we're gonna put you in the bio, also. Yes. Okay, cool, man. Just, uh, just my name is Scoop Ross on Facebook. Maybe definitely hit me up. Definitely wanna check out my my t-shirts. If you wanna buy one, you may, more than welcome. And um, just come, just come sit with me. I'll be in church on Sunday. I'm gonna go live on church on Sunday because I, I do gotta speak to the youth. So nice. more than welcome to come holler, man. Okay. Uh, I'll be. Thanks Thank a you lot. guys, man, so much. Man. Yeah, Thanks definitely, bro. Have Thanks a so great lot. night. A good rest of your yeah. weekend. Yeah. yeah, and I look forward to see you standing at that wedding, man. Yes, we looking Can't forward. Can't wait to see those pictures. <laughs> Listen, man, if you guys ever get a chance, man, send me your whatever address, and i send you guys an invitation. You guys can make it. Yeah, I would definitely. Love you guys. No problem. We no definitely problem. could. You no know? problem. Yeah. I, I really appreciate it, man. I would, hey, listen, you guys send me an invite, yeah. invitation, as I would love for you guys to come. All right, definitely. All right, Thanks. Thank we you, appreciate thank that, you. We bro. appreciate that. Yeah. All right, guys, man, I'll talk to you guys later. Man. I have a good yeah. night. Enjoy your Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yes, definitely. definitely. All right.